But uh, it is my pleasure this morning to introduce to you our new Consul General of Mexico for both North and South Carolina. Uh, she's only been on the job about uh, less than a month. Her name is Remedios Gomez Arnau, quite a, quite a lady. I've had the opportunity to uh, meet with Remedios, have, have dinner with her. Um, she comes to us uh, in North Carolina from San Diego, California, where she was Consul General there. And uh, we're certainly glad, glad to have her here with us this morning. I asked her to come be with us so that you could see her, she could see you, and ask her to bring greetings. Let's welcome a good friend, Remedios Gomez Arnau. Remedios. Good morning, y'all. Uh, I'm glad to be back to the East Coast because uh, before being posted in San Diego, California for eight years and a half, I was posted in Atlanta for seven years. So I'm used to the y'all and to the greets. So I'm very happy to, to be here uh, to the East Coast. And also I'm very glad uh, that we will be working uh, together. I really appreciate that the North Carolina Farm Bureau has had a very good relationship with the Mexican consulate. And we also appreciate that our Mexican workers are working with some of you, with some of your farms. And we wanna not only keep that good relationship, we wanna strengthen it and we wanna expand it. Uh, my foreign affairs minister was here uh, when I was just about to take office and she was reminding the people that Mexico is the second export market for North Carolina. And listening to the Commissioner of Agriculture, I think we can explore more businesses, more investment here. Maybe you don't know, but there are five big Mexican companies that have invested here in North Carolina, and we want to bring more of them. One of them is one of the biggest that is producing bread. And, uh, we, we are sure that we can expand those businesses in the benefit of everyone involved. And also for those that have our Mexican workers, please know that we are someone, we are officers to rely, to help. We have many programs, educational and health programs, and you can rely on us. In, uh, I know Larry will be a very good liaison for all of you if you need anything about the consulate. So again, thank you for inviting us to be here with us. Uh, here with me, it's the consul that is in charge of consular assistant, Jorge Torres, who just arrived uh, two days ago here. We will be very glad working with all of you. And I'm really appreciative of hearing that you really like having our Mexican workers. I hope that that can be heard more uh, publicly. That would be good for uh, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Consul General, for being here, and thank you for, uh, for the work that you do for the Mexican nationals that live in North and South Carolina. The service that they provide, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is invaluable, particularly if there's a problem, uh, a, a death, in the family of a Mexican national back in Mexico or a sickness here. Uh, farmers call us and we, we call the consul and, uh, and say we need some help. And so we've got to maintain uh, that, that close relationship as an organization with the, with the Mexican consulate. Madam, thank you for being with us. Jorge, thank you. We look forward to working with you. 